Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I've got a purple post day unboxing today. Um, I've got a painting from Diamond Art Studio UK. Um, very much purple on the outside of the box, but not purple inside of the box. Um, and you'll see why I say not purple in a moment um but yes i have another painting to add to my lovely little stash because i can't resist um there is more than amazing artwork out there at the moment um diamond art studio work with some amazing artists and some that I'm trying to find a way to describe this artist that is, it's not derogatory in any way, um, but it's, it's artwork that when you first look, you may think, oh, no, but then actually when you look again, you think, oh, actually, I really, really like that. It's an artist that does, I find, um, just the way that they portray their art um it's just it's that little bit different and i really really like it um and i and working on one of their paintings i think is a joy because of that um the more you look at it the more you see so this is by esther anna Verus, and i've probably hashed that and I probably say that every time I unbox one of her paintings and I do apologise. But I actually have a few of hers now because they do really fascinate me um, and the amount of things you see. Uh, but this isn't a purple kind of painting, though it might have some purple in it. It's a pink kind of painting. Um, but it's just stunning. It's absolutely stunning um this is called pink blossom tree which of course there is a pink blossom but then there's your moon and you're thinking is that a bit too low should it be higher uh, and then you've got your animal which i think is a deer um you've got your little mushrooms though as well and your little dots and your um background colors here and i just do find that every time i look at it i see some different idea or some different concept um, and she's got quite a few different paintings that I've, I've not seen anything like it before. I do think she's rather unique, um, which is also what I like. Um, it's the stunning, stunning pieces of art and I've seen some of the completed ones and they're amazing. Uh, so this has 39 colours, 38 of them are normal, one of them is an AB. And it does come with the sticker sheet. So it's always recommended to place it flat down, stickers down, and do give it a rub where the stickers go together. Just because it's been curled up in the box, sometimes that can help none of these fall out, but they are individual pieces. So you do get an individual for the symbol and for the DMC number, and you can choose to add one, both, or neither to your storage when you're kitting up. Um, but yeah, that's the painting. Uh, now, this one is available. Let me just confirm. Yes, it is available in a round or a square. Though, I have the square because I do love square paintings. Um, oh, look at that. It is a 50 by 50. So it's a nice square size, a little bit different. But I do have a frame for a 50 by 50. I don't think they do them in Ikea anymore, but they did at the time. Uh, there is a little bit of purple in this, I've just seen. There is a little bit here of 550 uh, dotted about, especially down this shading down the sides. But it is primarily pink. Um, we also have ABs, uh, five 200 ABs are in it, but look at all those pinks. There's greys and blacks, but there's so many different shades of pink to give it that amazing depth. We've even got a little bit of a nice pale blue and green there as well. These are what I was looking at, this pale blue and green, where well, it's like a yeah, it's, 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 
it's a green it's a turquoisey maybe i just think they're beautiful colors myself uh 3747 and 3752 i think they are in parts of the shading around the tree etc i'm just trying to see if i can get this to just tuck on the edge of my desk it stops it curling back up again um once you start working on it they do they do flatten out really easily it's just been in its box for a little while this is the ab 5200 and we have little bits of ab here on the actual blossom tree so it sort of highlights on the blossom tree are in the ab the white section of the moon is in the ab the scattering, so the little paint dots that were down the side of the, each side of the painting is in AB, and also the little dots on the mushrooms are in AB. I think that's a really nice scattering of AB personally. Um, I do, I like that scattering. Um, very nice highlights of AB. We do have some gorgeous colours. So we do have a fair amount of purple, but that's the only purple in here. The rest are pinks and peachy colours. Uh, we've got a bit of a bit of a hotter pink. We've even got some red, of course. Some of this, when you look at it, you're like, yep, yeah, that does need some more red. And we have some more vivid red as well yes that is 666 that is the vivid red uh, so there's some of that included you might class that as a purple but i think in this painting that's possibly more of a, a pink than a purple uh, a little bit more of a ready pink but yeah loads and loads of really nice we've got really nice pinks we've got some 823 in the blue and we've got some greys which will give the nice tone in down the side and of course on the likes of the plants the plants the branches of the tree if i could speak english it would all help um yeah absolutely gorgeous there's some black that goes down here uh, but then mainly your black is in some of this hill. Uh, you've got your, your deer, if it is a deer. Maybe Anna has her own name for this animal. Um, and then we have some on the branches. But most of it is just down here and down this darker side of the image. And you tend to have more bluey, bluey grey colours down this side. But yeah. I can't wait to do this one i think it's just it's gorgeous it is different as well and i think there's quite a few of anna's pieces as esther sorry esther anna um <laughs> esther's pieces that just you know once framed and up on your wall will also gain the same sort of attraction and highlight that i think you know i can't be the only one um that that looks at it and thinks oh but then looks at it again and thinks oh i really i do really like her artwork i do every time i look on um, her page on diamond art studio uk which i will link below i will link to all of her different artwork pieces um as soon as i click on it and look i do find that i have to say slow down because I appreciate it more when I do slow down. Um, so I'm very happy to add another one to my collection. Uh, I seem to be collecting quite a few of the artist pieces from Diamond Art Studio UK, but I, I'm, I'm not gonna apologize for that because I think every single one of them is absolutely amazing and well worth it. So, um, yeah i'll be popping this one in my logbook and my decision wheel at the end of this month and i'm really excited as always as with any of them i have multiples now that i really really want to do um maybe i just 
I don't know. I just need to diamond paint more is what I need to do and keep doing more of them. Um, but yeah, I will pop a link, as I say, to her, to the artist's page so that you can see what I mean or maybe have a look at all of her art and go, I don't know what you're chatting about um, <laughs> because you see the beauty straight away, whereas it takes me a little minute. Um, but yeah. I'm really happy to be able to do this one. Even the background isn't all a plain colour, it's pink. The backgrounds are pinks as well, which, yeah, I think that's going to be really nice to work on. There is not much blockiness, um, but it's not too confetti either. Um, so, yeah, this will be a fun one to do. But anyway, do check out the link down below. There is also a little cheeky discount code there for you as well, which may help with your budget or may help you be able to maybe purchase a few more because the discount helps. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.